Uh, by looking at the um, revenue flow that we've had, I'm just, just trying to jot down here. I'm going to speak from memory best, best I can. Uh, in uh, 2004 and five, uh, we had a revenue surplus of, of not revenue surplus. We we had in reserve 14.7 million dollars, I believe, if I'm correct. And uh, then over a three-year period, to 2007 to 2008, uh, it had um, gone down to 7.1 million. And um, so that was over like a three-year period of time, roughly $2 million a year more than what we were bringing in. Um, and that budget we passed, you know, that that's been so criticized, you know, so much over the last two years. Um, when it, 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 of course, the year before that year, they froze uh, jobs, I believe. Uh, but then they only gave a, didn't give a increment, cost of living increment. Uh, reduced the longevity from three percent, three, uh, three cents to one cent. Uh, to, uh, the attempt in raising five dollars a month for garbage to try to balance things out because I, I think I'm right on this. About eighty-three percent of uh, our budget, I think. I'm not going to get in debate with anybody, but I'm just speaking. Everybody have a chance to make a little comment. Um, is either recurring or, or locked in expenses, 83%. And at the time when the adjustments were made, revenue was going this way and began to drop a little bit. And all of the other costs were going this way. And um, I, I noticed over that, that was a troubling budget two years ago. And um, the, um, as, as I recall, um, health care and pensions were something like $900,000 a year. Um, and then the, the cost of living, cost had been going around $760,000 a year. And it was something like, if I recall correctly, about 1.6 something million more than what we had. So that was why the adjustments were, you know, were trying to be made. Um, I know that there's, I, I know that our department heads and our city manager have worked hard to present us with the budget. And uh, I know uh, employees would like to have more money. And um, I think everybody would like that to happen, but I, I saw like morale. I like for everybody to be happy. I, I worked in, in um, I know state government for oh, 16 years uh, in, in transportation and in education, and really and truly, and all being not trying to be smart like or anything. Every, but I hear about every year, boy, morale is lower than it's ever been. And that, that is really a statement that you hear, I, I, it, it may be lower than it's ever been, but I mean, that's a, a statement that's not unusual to, to hear. But also, and I'm, I think, I'm going to say this, that if you look at our city and compare them to other cities, in fiscally, and we've done, we haven't laid off anybody, and uh, we just haven't got as much raises as like to have, but, but people still have jobs. And the, the economy, um, 
projections I hear, read, and listen to on Sunday po morning programs and things is still, and talking to mayors in 17 other cities a couple weeks ago, they say the budget this year is not the one that's making them, scaring them so much, it's going to be the budget next year. So anyway, well, guys, we, 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 uh, let's take the, I'm, let's call the roll. Mr. Wilder. Yes. Okay. This is Commissioner Hayden. Yes. Commissioner Turner. Yes. Commissioner May. Yes. Mayor Grant. Uh, yes. So uh, four point four is the truth. Just more. Number four point five: an ordinance to amend the City of Frankfurt's Code of Ordinances, Chapter one hundred and fifty point oh five, by amending the City of Frankfurt's Property Maintenance Code, Section three hundred one, Subsection three hundred one point four point two. Summary, this ordinance amends the city's property maintenance code, section 301, subsection 301.4.2. More specifically, the request is to establish the fee for certificate of occupancy for rental inspections at $20. Okay, this is first reading. Okay. Number 4.6, an ordinance to amend the city of Frankfurt's code of ordinances, chapter 150 by amending the permit and inspection fees of subsections 150.1 building codes and 150.3 electrical codes. Summary, this ordinance amends the city's building and electrical code fees, chapter 150, section 150.1 and 150.3. More specifically, the request is to amend the fees for inspections and permits. That objection to accept the first reading. Okay. Number 4.7, an ordinance amending Frankfurt Code of Ordinances, Section 50.14, to add a provision providing for the waiver of the fee. Summary, this ordinance provides for the waiver of the garbage fee established in Section 50.14 of the City of Frankfurt Code of Ordinances for the time period beginning on January 1, 2011 and ending on June 30, 2011, and provides for a refund of prepaid garbage fees or the application of prepaid amounts to garbage fees due and owing now or in the future. Okay, the objection was six first reading. I have a question about this one. Yeah, um, is this is this a does this need to get passed in a timely manner? I mean, can this, in terms of a vote, can this wait for our July voting meeting, or should we call a special meeting prior to one of our work sessions to handle this sooner? Does that matter? We will not be sending out a bill, uh, so from that perspective it would not matter if the commission wants to uh, give folks the opportunity to request refunds in a more timely manner you may want to uh, vote on it before July but that would be the time issue in my mind um, I would be I mean I, just in the in the interest of processing the refunds a little sooner. I'd be happy to, you know, to meet 10, 15 minutes early one day this week to, to get her done. But it's not necessary. I, I can go either way. Uh, I'd, say, Turner? I'd say we just tack it on to our next, uh, right before the first, or before the next work session, vote on it then, have a special meeting about 15 minutes beforehand. Is that okay? I'll just do it. Okay. I'll be, I'm, July 11. That'd be July 11. Right, because we're not meeting. Next okay, month. then you, you now it's, let me get, to, let me poll you guys. You, you want, to, uh, do you have this agreement for that? Okay, we'll put that on for uh, <laughs> beginning of, we have to call special meetings, right? 445. Yeah, it's it 445. Okay. Um, that's the first reading on that. That takes you to that. Now we're down to orders. Um, Mr. Uh, I have uh, item 5.1, an order authorizing a management agreement for the Juniper Hill Golf Course. <coughs> this is agreement with Kirk Shuley, PGA certified golf professional for the operation and maintenance of Juniper Hill Golf Course. Okay, we we'll have a motion. We've got a motion for approval by Commissioner May. We we'll have a second. Uh, Commissioner Hedden. Questions? Call the roll. Mr. Wilder. 
Yes. Mr. Hayden? Yes. Mr. Turner? Yes. Mr. May? Yes. Mayor Grant? Uh, yes, so order 5.1 is adopted. And now we're down to resolutions. Uh, Mr. Bowen. Resolution 6.1, resolution authorizing the acceptance of grant funds in the amount of 225531 for the Safe Routes to School program and designating the mayor to execute all documents pertaining to this grant. This grant does not require a match. Okay, do we have a motion for approval of resolution 6.1? So moved. Uh, Commissioner Turner, second. Commissioner Hedden? Okay, uh, call the roll. Commissioner Wilder? Yes. Commissioner Hedden? Yes. Commissioner Turner? Yes. Commissioner May? Yes. Mayor Grant? Yes, so resolution 6.1 is adopted. We're now down to a consent calendar, Mr. Bowman. You right. ready? <laughs> it's a ball. <laughs> take a deep breath. <laughs> you think you're going to take some water? You're going to. I will with that. Yeah. Thank you. Item 7.1 to authorize a revised dark fiber and internet access agreement between the City of Frankfurt and the Frankfurt Plant Board and authorize the mayor to sign all related documents. Item 7.2 to authorize the mayor to sign a renewal agreement with the radio communication services for maintenance on current E911 equipment and authorize the mayor to sign all related documents. Item 7.3, to authorize the mayor to sign a full release of mortgage for property located at 424 Jones Lane. Item 7.4, to authorize the submission of a letter of interest to EPA's Greening America's Capitals Initiative to promote the principles of smart growth, green building, and partnership for sustainable communities and authorize the mayor to sign all documents as may be required by the grant. 7.5, to authorize the submission of an application for Homeland Security grant funds and authorize the mayor to sign all grant-related materials. Item 7.6, to authorize change order number one to RS Technical Services Incorporated to upgrade the push-type camera to battery powered and to authorize the mayor to sign documents related to the purchase. Item 7.7, .7, to authorize award of an engineering services agreement with URS Corporation <laughs> for design services to replace an under capacity and deteriorating sewer line along the Slipway branch between US 60 and US 421 and to authorize the mayor to sign all documents related to the project. Uh, the amount of this agreement is $74,355. Item 7.8, to authorize a contract award to Cleary Construction for construction of approximately 700 feet of gravity sewer, sewer line attached to a retaining wall behind 101 through 119 East Main Street, and to authorize the mayor to sign all documents related to this project. The low bidder for the project is Cleary Construction with a bid of $845,262 for option B. <clears throat> Item 7.9, to authorize amendment to contract to HMB Professional Engineering Incorporated for additional design services for the failing brick sewer on West Main Street and authorize the mayor to sign all documents related to this project. This amendment is $16,487.50 and brings the total to $71,987.50. Item 7.10, to authorize award of engineering services agreement with Ken Byrnes Incorporated for design services to replace Bonaire Air Pump Station and Two Creek Subdivision and to authorize Mayor to sign all documents related to this project. The amount of this agreement is $72,600. Item 7.11, authorization to amend contract to Sherman Carter Barnhart, PSC, for additional design services and contract administration and resident observation for the East Main project and authorize the mayor to sign documents related to this project. The amendment is for $85,000 and brings a total of $125,000. Item 7.12, to authorize award of engineering services agreement with Sherman Carter Barnhart PSC for design services to replace the roof of the Headworks building at the wastewater treatment plant 
and authorize the mayor to sign documents related to this project. The amount of this agreement is $11,855. Item 7.13, to authorize bid award to Standby Power USA to provide a two trailer mounted generators for sewer department. Uh, the uh, Standby Power USA, who is the lowest responsible bidder at $98,068.32 for two generators. Item 7.14, to authorize award of engineering services agreement with Lee Engineering LLC and Cantec LLC for design services to expand sewers to Spring Hill subdivision and to authorize the mayor to sign all documents related to this project. The amount of this agreement is $95,300. Item 7.15, to authorize the mayor to sign all agreements related to the construction con contract with Schrader Construction for installation of gra gravity lines and force main for the East Frankfurt project for the sewer collection system. The total contract amount of the, the total contract amount is unchanged at $3,615,865. Item 7.16, to approve a purchase order with C.C. Moore Company for additional work resulting from sewer collapse in the vicinity of Old Lawrenceburg Road and Todd Street. Item 7.17, to approve a purchase order with leak eliminators to clean inverted siphons in various locations throughout the collection system. Item 7.18, to authorize award of engineering services agreement for the evaluation and preliminary engineering associated with the Willcrest <coughs> 1 and the INI reduction project and to authorize the mayor to sign all documents related to the project. Item 7.19, to authorize the filing of a grant application for 2011 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistant Grant, known as JAG, program, to authorize the mayor to sign all grant documents, including a memorandum of understanding with Franklin County Fiscal Court. Uh, under this uh, JAG program agreement, uh, be allocated $14,139 for the purchase and replacement of mobile data units for police vehicles. Item 7.12, oh, to authorize the mayor to enter into a three-year contract with ESRI for an enterprise license agreement for GIS software. Item 7.21, 7 to authorize the mayor to sign an agreement between HCC Life Insurance Company and the City of Frankfurt. The city purchases stop loss insurance to limit health insurance claim risk. Wells Fargo, our broker and TPA, sought bids from several carriers and after negotiations, HCC was the only carrier to provide a final proposal. Item 7.22, to authorize the mayor to sign an agreement between Safety National Insurance Company and the city of Frankfurt. This is to provide workers' compensation coverage for the coming year. Uh, these, these were bid to several carriers and Safety National Insurance Company provided the best proposal. Item 7.23 to authorize the mayor to sign an agreement between Forward Edge and the City of Frankfurt. Item 7.24 to authorize the mayor to sign an agreement between Wells Fargo, TPA, and the City of Frankfurt. Uh, these services will be marketed and bid during the upcoming two year period. Item 7.25, to authorize advertising for bids for providers of police uniforms and uniform accessories. Item 7.26, to authorize the mayor to sign an agreement between Vision Care for Life and the City of Frankfurt. Item 7.27, to authorize the mayor to sign an agreement between Paul Dalton, Substance Abuse Professionals, and the City of Frankfurt. Item 7.28, we will ask for comments from our uh, Human Resources Director, Randy Donahue. Uh, just a quick update on it. The, the contract that was part of your packet, uh, City Attorney 
Rod Moore had asked, uh, had a couple concerns about clauses in there, and we just got a response from uh, Wells Fargo Benefit Services at about 10 to 5, agreeing to make a couple of changes. So there will be a couple of changes to the contract that I think are in the city's best, best interest. And one was regarding indemnification, the other was regarding uh, whether the laws of Minnesota or the laws of Kentucky would govern any dispute or whatever. So, any questions? No. Okay, I'll repeat that. 7.28 to authorize the mayor to sign a contractor agreement between Wells Fargo Health Benefit Services and the city of Frankfurt. The purpose of this is to uh, provide administration for HSAs, which are health savings accounts. Item, item number 7.29 to authorize the mayor's signature on the 2010 KPDES MS4 annual compliance report. Item 7.30 to authorize change order number one for Home Street Corridor Sidewalk Project with ADE Contracting Incorporated and authorize the mayor to sign all related documents as may be required. Item 7.31 to authorize the mayor to enter into agreements with individuals and or entities that will be performing at the city's Cornets and Cannon Civil War Sesquicentennial <laughs> Music Festival to be held September 1 through 4. Item 7.32, to authorize the mayor to execute documents necessary to obtain easements for the bicycle and pedestrian trail beginning at River Park, Riverview Park and running along Wilson Boulevard. Item 7.33, to approve the disposal of real property located on Kentucky Avenue owned by the City of Frankfort by conveying it to the Kentucky River Authority. In return, the Kentucky River Authority will dispose of its 1989 Little Giant 23-foot boat that is used by the City of Frankfort Fire Department as combination rescue, fire suppression, and emergency medical vehicle, vessel, a uh, vessel. <laughs> if I can to get to the city, I'm sorry. <laughs> Item number 7.34, personnel. We have a resignation from Kayla Christie, an authorization to pay approved leave. We have a resignation from Russ Persons, police department, an authorized payment for approved leave. Also, uh, permission to make two conditional job offers for the position of Patrol Officer 1 in order to continue in-depth background investigations for candidates. Preliminary background checks have begun for the next four cam candidates in the Civil Service Board's Police Recruit Eligibility List. The positions are to replace two personnel who have retired or given notice of resignation. Uh, yes, resignation. These conditional job offers are contingent upon successful completion of physical, psychological, polygraph, and drug screen examinations. The department expects one further resignation and up to three retirements in the near future. Uh, slots for the 18-week academy are reserved for October and November. That concludes my report. Okay, do I have a motion for approval of the consent calendar? I got Commissioner Hedden. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, Commissioner Wilder, second. Uh, call the roll. Commissioner Wilder. Yes, and I'd like to thank uh, Officer Persons and uh, Dispatcher Chrissy for the services. Commissioner Hedden. Yes, and congratulations, Mr. Goins. You only made four fumbles. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than I did in football in high school. Commissioner Turner. Yes. Mr. May? Yes, and I also want to thank uh, Kayla Christie and, and Russell Persons and wish them well in their future endeavors. Yes. Mayor Grant? Yeah, I echo the comments, yes. And so consent calendar is approved. All right, the next item on the board appointments, there's a, on the tourism and the convention board is the re recommended reappointment of uh, Charles Boo to a three-year term and in 6-30-14. And likewise, the appointment of Gary Burke to a three-year term and in 6-30-14. Now, if it's okay with you guys, I'll go on and get the other one on board of 
Park Commissioners reappointed with Van French Thomas to a four year term ending 5 1 in uh, year 2015. Move for approval of the mayor's recommendations. Do we have a second? Second. second uh, Commissioner Waller, second. Any comments? Okay, uh, please uh, call the roll. Commissioner Weiler? Yes. Commissioner Hedden? Yes. Commissioner Turner? Yes. Commissioner May? Yes. Mayor Graham? Uh, yes, so the uh, reappointments are approved for 8.1 and 8.2. Next item on agenda is old business. Commissioner Wilder? Um, I apologize for not having asked this sooner. Um, I guess I'm curious to know whether or not the videotape that's being made of tonight's meeting will also be made available online. Is that something that got worked out with the plant board? Uh, I think so. Jo Jolson, uh, the question was, will this video be uh, accessible on the internet also? The plant board <laughs> had worked that out with, with us. For, for today? Yes. Yes, it will be available. You will get a copy from them tomorrow, I think. And That's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That was just making sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I really want to thank staff and the plant board um, and the commission for uh, for getting these meetings recorded and made available to the public. I haven't seen the viewership numbers for the, the one meeting that has been posted on the city's official website, but the, the first meeting that I recorded um, has seen about, uh, about 20 odd people have watched it by now, which is that's, that's not a lot of people on one hand, but when you see how many folks actually make it to the meetings, that's really an exponential growth in terms of viewership and citizen involvement. I think it's a, it's a great step forward. And I just want to thank, uh, thank our IT staff and, and uh, Fred and the plant board for, for working that out and getting that done. Regarding the statistics for access, we will make it available if you have access to the uh, YouTube account. Uh, we probably provide some kind of uh, uh, public access to it too, so that they can sign up uh, if there is a new video postage. Uh, I think I would like to request probably from Plum Board if we can have some cameras available because there is only one static mm -hmm. uh, available for it. So maybe one so that if somebody talk here, they should be able to see also, you know. Uh, and to give us flexibility to change probably the uh, the motion of the camera. Yeah. I assume that's just a matter of a little more training on on our part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I, I, I think uh, they were concerned probably that uh, if they give us access to do some more, it might ruin their cameras. Ah, that's what I heard. So. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm watching Dave. Back that doesn't make sense, you know, Dave. <laughs> I, 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 we, we raised an issue during the meeting, but uh, that's, that's what they were concerned with. Sure. Um, I, too, would like to thank the plant board, and uh, they have uh, given us their professional expertise and their training and uh, equipment at, at no cost thus far, no charge, um, and, and I would like to thank our staff for being such quick quick uh, learners and picking this up so fast. Thank you. Uh, any other old business?